Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of hypothyroidism or thyrotoxicosis or Graves' disease. These are quite similar terms if you talk about sonographic findings but differs each other clinically. A 35-year-old female patient came with midline neck swelling, weight loss and diarrhea. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section of the thyroid gland. This is the right lobe, this is the left one, and connected to each other by an isthmus. You see the thyroid gland is diffusely enlarged and the parenchyma looks quite heterogeneous. Here's the lobe measurement. You can see the right lobe, which is quite enlarged and heterogeneous. This is the left lobe, which is also enlarged and heterogeneous. So it is a diffuse enlargement with heterogeneous ecotexture. There's the measurement of isthmus, which is also thickened. If you look at the right picture, you can see we have put color Doppler. This is a regular thyroid setting of the machine in which if you put the color Doppler, you'd see some tiny vessels here and there. But with this setting, we can see aliasing that indicates a very high velocity flow throughout the thyroid gland. We'll talk about the Doppler findings a little bit later. Let's look at the real-time video. Here you can see the transverse section of the thyroid gland which is heterogeneous and diffusely enlarged. This is the tracheal ring. These are the carotid and jugular vessels. Here is the longitudinal section of the right lobe showing diffuse enlargement and heterogeneous ecotexture. Here's the left lobe, which is also enlarged and heterogeneous, but no definite solid or cystic nodules are seen here. Now let's put the color Doppler. Here's the color Doppler on the transverse section, and you can see very prominent vessels within the thyroid gland. We have moved the transducer a little bit inferiorly and you can see the inferior thyroid arteries are inserting into the thyroid gland and giving a very high flow. This type of flow pattern is commonly known as thyroid inferno, which is quite like the fire on the hill. If you want to prick the thyroid gland at this time, you'll see a very rapid jet of blood flow coming out from the thyroid gland. So better not to go for FNC at this time. Here's the longitudinal section of the right lobe. You can see a very big amount of vascularity. And this is the inferior thyroid artery inserting and giving supply to the thyroid gland. You see this part looks like an aneurysmal blood vessel. Here's the superior part of the right lobe. And you can see the right superior thyroid artery is giving blood supply to the superior part. Here we have increased the pulse repetition frequency or PRF so that we can show you the main inferior and superior thyroid arteries clearly. And you can see this is the inferior thyroid artery entering into the right lobe and giving supply to the parenchyma. This is the right superior thyroid artery which is also giving supply to the thyroid gland and as we have increased the pulse repetition frequency the rest of the part of the thyroid inferno is slightly reduced here but still you can see aliasing within the main superior and inferior thyroid arteries. Now here I have taken the sample from the inferior thyroid artery on the right side and you can see a very high amount of flow. It is showing 158 centimeter per second peak systolic velocity. In normal thyroid gland you usually don't get more than 25 centimeter per second of flow. If you talk about the Hashimoto thyroiditis then the flow should be increased but not more than 70 centimeter per second. 70 cm per second actually is taken as a cutoff value to differentiate between the thyroiditis and hyperthyroidism and obviously in case of hyperthyroidism you won't be confused with 70 or 69 or 71 cm per second. The flow is usually very high. So here is the superior thyroid artery and you can see the flow velocity is still high on the right side. 
Here's the left side and you can see the infratheroid artery is giving branches to the parenchyma. Still very high flow as you can see the aliasing. And here is the superior thyroid artery on the left side, which is also giving supply to the thyroid gland, showing aliasing. Here is the spectrum and you can see the left side showing 179 cm per second flow in the infrathyroid artery. And on the superior thyroid artery, it is quite similar to the inferior one. So in summary, the thyroid gland is diffusely enlarged with heterogeneous ecotexture. The parenchymal vascularity is grossly increased, forming the thyroid inferno. The velocities of superior and inferior thyroid arteries bilaterally are grossly increased. So this sonological and Doppler features concluded as a case of hypothyroidism. Now the take-home message. The peak systolic velocity below 70 cm per second virtually excludes hypothyroidism on color Doppler. This is actually the range for thyroiditis. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.